everybody, it is Monday. How are you tonight? Tell me about your Monday. Tell me what you are grateful for today, folks. I'm looking forward to having you with me tonight. And hearing about your Monday. Tell me about it. Tell me what is happening in your world. Because I want to know. <laughs> hey, Kitty had a good sales day with the sun out. That's a good thing to hear. I love hearing that. I always love hearing about hearing the sunshine and the register ring. That is a wonderful thing, Kitty. I I'm glad to hear that, and it's great to have you here tonight. It is great to have you here, and uh, we didn't quite have the sun today, though. Jana's with us tonight. Hey, Jana. We didn't quite get to sunshine. We had uh, snow showers all day, but that like that rainy snow. So it wasn't really raining, and it wasn't really snowing. Yes, it does. It always puts people in a good mood. We did have people buying some winter clothes today, though, so I'll take that um, with it. But uh, I am right there with you. Sunshine does put people in a good mood. You're so bright, I gotta wear shades. Okay. That was a bad joke. But hey, the future's so bright, I gotta wear shades. Uh, I am obviously here at more 8 than ish tonight, so I was trying to finish up. Actually, I'm, uh, after this, I am out of here. So we are, uh, we've been, had a productive Monday. Uh, had a lot of, uh, online orders to ship on a Monday, uh, get that going. Have a lot of people freaking out, uh, of where is their order. So, had one that had to have an outfit for... Christmas pictures on Thursday, and will it get here? I'm like, you want to pay for overnight mail? On it, that that I will feel fairly, con very confident we'll get there. Anything else is just potluck at this point. Hey, Jennifer, how are you? Good to have you here tonight. That's that, but, uh, you know, this is the perfect outfit for the Christmas pictures that we're having on Thursday, and I'm like, well... You know, I do not control the mailman, and you are in Kentucky, and I am not. So, but we will put it in the mail. That's all, that is all I can do, is put it in the mail. So, and then let our trusty mailman take it from there. So, um, that is what I did, and uh, I remain uh, hopeful that it gets there for them and their pictures, and that it truly is the perfect item and not that item that they tuck in the price tag on while they're taking the pictures and then uh, message in that they have to return it. But uh, stranger things have happened, you know. That's the joys of uh, dealing with the public. Uh, but it's great to have you all here. Uh, we got some fast topics tonight, a few things that I needed to cover tonight. Uh, hey, Sarah, great to have you here. Great to have you here. On this Monday night, as we kick off week 40 slash 41, depending on how your count is going. And it is a good week. A good week to have a good week. And that's where we're going with this, folks. It's a good week to have a good week. And we're going to get started tonight uh, with the Good Morning, Good Night book. The Good Morning, Good Night book is how we start this program every night. Um, and I was even able to, uh, thanks to my peanut gallery, have the right um, page. We are on page 26, if you're following along in the book tonight. Good morning, New York, USA, world, solar system, galaxy, universe, multiverse. You reading this in the palm of your hands. Good morning. There is our good morning tonight. Uh... I like this quote. This is our quote of the night. 
Never be so focused on what you're looking for that you overlook the thing that you ever actually find. Let me say that again. Never be so focused on what you're looking for that you overlook the thing that you actually find. You know, sometimes we get so focused uh, on things that... that uh, that we overlook what we do come across, and sometimes we come across better things than what we planned on. So uh, just keep that in mind as you are, uh, a a as we look for things in this in this universe right now. You know, it's a uh, crazy uh, universe out there, but as we look for things, just keep that in mind. Um, this was kind of interesting. Walmart, Walmart. Um, is trying an influencer program with their army of employee TikTokers. Okay. Um, Walmart has a lot of people that love working there and uh, started posting. Hey, Kelly, yes, I am early tonight, but that's because I'm trying to get out of here. So, uh, you know, I'm still at work tonight, but I'm trying to get out of here. Um, but, uh, uh, so that that is why I am more probably more on time tonight. Um, so... Spotlight is a program that Walmart, uh, then talk faster. <laughs> well, stop interrupting me. Uh, Spotlight. So this is a program we could model off of this. You could do something off of this. Spotlight is a company, is a program that the company began testing this fall. Um, remakes Walmart employees into public facing company advocates. And it's a outgrowth of their My Local Walmart's My Local Social program, which asked volunteer employees to post on behalf of their local stores. Now, under Spotlight, each employee is the brand. Spotlight is designed to showcase a behind-the-scenes look at life at Walmart. Um, you know, one person posted about the uh, delivery service, grocery delivery services offered through Walmart's subscription program. But it's getting them involved and getting their identity out there as a social influencer. They're also using them to promote certain products, specific products. So um, when they um, are using certain hashtags and um, they're compensating engagement. They say personal content makes up the bulk of spotlight posts. But brand sponsorships are on the rise. So November, uh, Walmart introduced a partnership with action figure brand Funko, and Spotlight influencers were asked to make posts with Funko products. And the top ten posts, based on uh, their algorithm that measures engagement, received two hundred dollars each in cash. But you could have that as a competition between staff. So you could have your own Spotlight where people were posting about the business or um, posting about things and uh, they um, with that they um, the post with the most most likes or the most engagement uh, got a uh, bonus got lunch got ten dollars got whatever and so the concept of what Walmart's doing um, is kind of interesting, especially where they're engaging employees and they're helping them really build their own personal brand So um, through social. So it's kind of interesting, um, and it is a phenomenon that's growing within retail uh, in the big guys, where at one point they would fire somebody for posting about the company without the specific company messaging, now they're encouraging it and seeing where it goes. So it, it is kind of interesting, but this Spotlight program is something that could be built out upon um, and ways for you to spotlight your own uh, employees. 
and your own store, which is ultimately what we're trying to do. So tonight I needed to talk a little bit about the idol and the PPP again. And I, uh, I know some of you are like, again, why is he talking about the idol and the PPP again? I, I think ultimately it is, Sarah. I think ultimately they are trying to, to be a little more human and flexible. And even if something goes sideways and goes wrong with it, that ultimately um, it didn't, you know, it won't go so wrong that, um, you know, they won't have control over it, you know, with their national presence. So I... Uh, and they do have a lot of loyal advocates. They have a lot of people that love working for Walmart. I mean, you know, just like we've all had. We have people that love us. We have people that hate us. It's all good, you know, um, and, and hated working for us. Um, but ultimately, um, you know, and, and there, this is company pride. You know, you're waving the company flag when you're doing this. I think, uh, you know some of their organic stuff that they're doing is better than when they're getting incentivized to talk about a product. But, we, you know, we'll see where this goes. We'll see where it goes. So, um, I've had a few conversations today about the PPP and IDLE. And so I needed to, I, I thought, especially since I'm trying to get out of here tonight, I would talk, that those would be good topics because if I'm getting calls about it, there are those of you that have questions about it that are not calling or emailing. And so uh, let's talk about it for a minute. So first, let's talk about the Idle Advance. Okay, the Idle Advance was a grant only if you did not get a PPP. If you did not get a PPP and you got an Idle Advance, then that money is yours to keep. Okay, whatever you got for the advance is not a loan, it's yours to keep. If you got an idle advance and you got a PPP, that money that you got as an advance is owed when your PPP is forgiven. So whatever the amount was, well, you, it could be up to $10,000, and, and I know many stores that got that amount. So if you got $10,000 as your idle advance, and let's say you had a $25,000 PPP, you got $10,000 idle advance, a $25,000 PPP, you will get, um, when you go for forgiveness, you will be told that your loan meets the qualifications for forgiveness, your PPP does, and you'll receive $25,000 worth of forgiveness less your idle advance. So you're, you will owe $10,000 in that case. So let me just say that again. If you got an idle advance and your idle advance was $10,000 and your PPP was $25,000, the PPP itself will be forgiven, okay? But your bank... And this is who you will owe it to, is the bank that you got your PPP, not to the SBA. You will owe the advance money, in this case, in this example, $10,000. They will say your PPP is forgiven, less the idle advance, and you owe $10,000. And so it's really important to know that, to budget for that, to have that um, in the back of your mind, whatever that is. Whatever that number is in your situation, if you got both the idle advance uh, and the PPP. If you only got the idle advance, if you only got the idle advance, then um, you are fine. That is a grant, and that is your money to spend on the business um, as you see fit. Um, there are no conditions other than that you spend it on the business. Now, backing up... So that, so that is the key with that, because some people have been all excited for forgiveness, and then they find out they owe money. And um, so that's an issue. The next issue is, you know, here we are, month 9, 10 of this, whatever, 
we're we're at week 40 slash 41 right um of this pandemic and maybe you didn't take an idle loan when i recommended it earlier you can still get an idle loan if you did not get one for your business okay through the end of the month you must apply before the end of december at the end of december the period to apply goes away so it's important if you have not applied and again I'm not encouraging debt. I'm encouraging um, insurance. The idle loan is just that. Is it, it's only insurance. It's all about insurance and about surviving to the other side of this. So if you have an idle uh, loan, uh, so if you have did not receive an idle loan, uh, you can get one through the end of the month at sba.gov. Uh, you can go ahead and apply uh, for one, uh, but you must do it before the end of the month. You must uh, take do the application. You actually, even after the application, you have up to six months to actually take the money um, after your application is approved. But your application has to be in, has to be in by the end of the month. Um, the SBA is also allowing businesses to get essentially a second idle if both your PPP is exhausted and your idle funds are exhausted. I don't think I'm working with anybody in here that's actually in that situation, but there is the ability now to get a second idle, okay, if both your, if you can show that your idle funds are gone are almost gone and you've used your PPP funds if you got a PPP um, again this is the idol is all about survival and insurance to ensure survival and if you have gone through that money which it was designed for six months of expenses and some hard-hit areas people have needed it um, and uh, have used uh, significant portions of it to get to the other side of this because that's what this is about. This is about getting to the other side. Yeah, and I'm with you there, Kelly. I don't want you to have another loan. I'm not encouraging anybody to have another loan. But I, but it's my responsibility to make sure everybody knows that they can. Um, I am still optimistic that we will get an opportunity for another PPP. And that would be very, very good for a lot of people. No, I don't think they'll forgive any of the idle. I, I don't see that happening. They're just not set up for that. Um, they, are a, they already know they're going to write off a lot um, when you look at the number of businesses that will never reopen. The number of businesses that will never reopen from this, um, they already know that they will be writing off a large number of idle loans. Um, because of bankruptcy filings of businesses, but uh, I do not see them uh, forgiving some of the idle. Um, I still am optimistic that they will move to streamlined forgiveness on the PPP, but that will not, that will not, that will still leave you with the idle advance owing that amount, um, even if they streamline the, the, um, the forgiveness for the PPP. And and the real tough part of that for a lot of people that they're missing on it is that not only will they owe that amount of the advance if they got both an idle advance and a PPP, but they will um, owe it to their local bank, not to the SBA. So they'll be dealing with their local bank or whoever they got their PPP for to pay back the idle advance to them is who the money goes to. Ultimately, it gets back to the SBA, but but it but it is funneled through your local bank. So that is the um, topic because it is as as some have been working on forgiveness, um, that has become an issue and it's become a wake up call. And like my phone's been ringing today about it, and it's like whoa whoa whoa! I said this all along. I said this all along. We can go back and replay many a many a video where I've said this. Um, right from the get-go. Uh, but that doesn't, you know, when, when your banker calls you and says, no problem, you got forgiveness, but you owe me 10 grand, um, that doesn't make the 10 grand magically appear. 
So, um, you know, I that is uh, why I, I because because I've had frantic calls from people today. I thought I would um, bring that up um, tonight as our topic tonight to talk about that. But I am still optimistic for another PPP. I am still optimistic for streamlined forgiveness. So I'm not a recommending still until until we're at the middle of January with nothing from Congress. If Congress does nothing by the middle of January, then yes, I'm telling everybody to apply for forgiveness. Um, but, uh, you know, there's still hope that Congress could actually do their freaking job. And uh, while there's hope, while the light is on for hope, we will, uh, we will work with that and we will work forward on that. So just keep that in mind. Um, but that's what I wanted to talk about tonight because I've had just a few too many uh, frantic calls with that today. And uh, that got me nervous that, okay, if I've had this many calls and emails about it, then there's a whole bunch of people that aren't calling and emailing me about it. So that's why I had to cover it. Um, you know, this program and everything that I cover here, everything that I talk about goes over to narts.org slash resale strong by noon the very next day. Noon the very next day. It's all there. Everything I talk about all the files, everything that I reference is all there at nerds.org slash resalestrong is where you find it. Including a link to the YouTube channel, You're Not Alone Running This Store, where you can like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell so that you get notified when a new episode drops. It's also there and organized so you can share it with all your friends in business so we can help everybody, everybody, get across the finish line on this. We don't want anybody going out of business in this. We want to help everybody get to the other side. Excuse me. If you have a question in between you, you just email me. I am here at more eight than ish every night live in the Narts private Facebook group. But when you have a question in between, you email me. Neil, N-E-I-L at ecistores.com. N-E-I-L at ecistores.com is where you find me. We start this program every night with the Good Morning, Good Night book. The Good Morning, Good Night book is how we start this program. And tonight, if you were not here at the top of the program, we are on page 26. Our good morning tonight is Good Morning, New York, USA, World, Solar System, Galaxy, Universe, Multiverse, you, you, reading this in the palm of your hands. Good morning. Our good night tonight is good night, multiverse, universe, galaxy, solar system, world, USA, New York, you and your cells, molecules, atoms, electrons, and quarks. Good night. There is your graphic, folks. All the universe in the palm of your hand. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Neil Abramson. I do like a good party, a wedding, a bar mitzvah even. We will party again. We will be in person again. And when we are, I will be with the air with you. But until then, know that you and you, but most importantly, you, yes, you, you're not alone running this store. It's time for me to get out of here and get dinner. I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Have a great night.